to perform the duties of the chair. The Senate has taken a big step towards passing a health care reform bill. The motion is agreed to. Democrats got the 60 votes they needed during a critical early morning test vote. The measure would expand coverage to more than 30 million uninsured Americans and would not let insurers deny coverage based on pre-existing conditions. The United States Senate knocked down a filibuster aimed at blocking a final vote on health care reform and scored a big victory for the American people. Not one Republican now, voted for the bill, which they say will deals. only make things now, worse. Now, 60 votes represent 60 percent of this body. But I can assure my friends on the other side of the aisle, it doesn't represent 60 percent of the American people. Getting those 60 votes was not easy for the Democrats. One of the biggest challenges was winning over one of their own, Nebraska's Ben Nelson. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, I'm Nelson voted yes in exchange for tougher restrictions on abortion and extra health care funds for his home state of Nebraska. That has Republicans that, uh, fuming. That it's not appropriate that my state or your state or other states around this country pick up the tab for Nebraska. Despite the complaints, this morning's vote puts the Democrats on track to pass the bill on Christmas Eve. Republicans say they're not giving up. We have just begun to fight. If the bill wins final approval, it would have to be merged with a starkly different bill already passed by the House. That won't be easy, as both versions passed with no votes to spare. Joel Brown, CBS News.